Nothing scary in the kitchen. We have the one and only chef Chris Hill from the Bachelor Kitchen joining us today, and we're doing something not scary. We're doing something fun and fall. What do you got for us, buddy? That's right. Well, I hear it's gonna be cold on it's Friday. Coming. It's coming tomorrow, or like today is the last good day, and then it started to chill off a little bit. So I have a nice bourbon apple cider for all the adults. Leave the bourbon out if you want to keep it for everybody. So apple cider. I grew up on it. It was awesome for Halloween every year. And you, then, wait, you grew up on bourbon apple cider? I, I probably did actually, just didn't know it. <laughs> I'm just and, kidding. And then um, we're also going to do a salted caramel here with nice. for some uh, caramel apples. Oh, sweet. Super, super easy. So many people will just buy caramel or buy them already made. Right. Really easy. You're going to show you a quick recipe with four or five ingredients. All right. So, caramel apple. I like that. And we got some apple cider as well. We'll get cooking in just a moment, so stick around. We are back now in the kitchen with Chef Chris Hill from The Bachelor Kitchen. He's making a yummy uh, salted caramel and bourbon apple uh, cider for us. And I think we're going to start with the drinks, the bourbon apple cider, right? That's right. Well, it'll take a little while to get going. Right. We're going to, um, we have a, a pot here. Maybe throw that on like medium heat. Okay. And I'm going to actually that. go ahead and throw in this. Yeah, we'll just throw it back here. Yeah. Hey, so let, let me ask you, um, uh, is Halloween a big thing in the, uh, the Hill household when you were growing up? I think it was for all kids, right? Yeah, um, I know. We we had a blast. Um, we in Atlanta, you know, neighborhoods everywhere, and we yeah. just run around and grab like sacks and sacks full of candy. Yeah. Did you did you stay out after after you know past the age of twelve or whatever it is? Oh yeah. Like, I, I, Fourteen, fifteen. I rode it as long as I could. You should. My kid, I have one. A kid is fifteen years old. He wants to go, and I don't know what to tell him. Yeah. So, might as well, right? That's what I say. Well, my my best buddy had a, a golf cart. We used to take it around because there was big driveways and. So was, you were driving door to door. Oh yeah, driving door to door. And there's a couple treater. years where I remember um, little firecrackers we throw, which Whoa, I'm not going to go that at all. Now we're going a different yeah. direction. Did you <laughs> did you break uh, pumpkins too? Did you smash I was, pumpkins? I was an angel. Actually, was I was smashing yeah, pumpkins. I was an angel. What was your favorite uh, Halloween costume? Did you ever do anything crazy? Did um, you go as, as my like, my a favorite anything, my favorite or? costume would probably be a recent one if that's okay. What's that? Um, I was Lumber from Office Space. I don't know if you've seen Office Space, but um, Lumber. Okay. Yeah, if you yeah. haven't seen it, go watch yeah, it. Yeah. Um, Piece of wood, man. I'll send you all a picture if you want to see it. Okay, so what did you just put in all there? All right, so these are some cloves. Cloth. It's a cheesecloth, yep. Yeah. Some cloves. Uh -huh. And if you want, I have some cinnamon, some uh, ginger. If you want to use uh, hold, like, hold cinnamon sticks or ginger, uh, you can throw these in here as well. But okay. obviously, you don't want to you know, choke on one of these. So we're going to throw oh, yeah. this right here Careful into the cider, and it's going to close up. And then we have some brown sugar. Right. Pour that right in, and then maybe if you don't mind, grab a uh, rubber spatula out of there. Okay. Yeah, right there, and maybe just kind of stir it in, just so it doesn't get stuck at the bottom. Okay, dope. And then about a tablespoon of vanilla extract. All right. Pure vanilla extract. And here's the ginger and cinnamon that I have. So if you want, again, you can use a, a, the full sticks. Um, I just didn't have you on hand. So uh, did you see the uh, the rocket launch? Did you see the explosion? I definitely saw, I didn't see it live. I definitely but you saw it everywhere, right? Online. Yeah, I mean it's you, everywhere. You right? could you not see it. it. You can't miss it. It's almost like you wanted to be there in person, but if you couldn't make it, it's everywhere, all over all the feeds, all over social media. Yeah, it's absolutely the news. crazy. So yeah, that'll all melt in. So if you have a little bit of the uh, the powdered cinnamon on top, don't worry. I was gonna say, man, it's just sort of sitting on top. Yeah, it'll, 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 it'll uh, get it take there, care right? of itself. Yeah. Okay. So then we have um, some oranges, right? Some apple. And we're gonna just chop these up, and then maybe we'll get started here in a second on just kind of get started on the caramel, so that you can make a couple can uh, caramel apples here before we're all done. Good, it sounds good. Uh, so listen, uh, we were also talking about scary movies. Are you old school scary movie or are you new school? What are you? I'm old school. Old school. Okay, Which I need, one really? I go back to my high school years, uh -huh. and there was a weekend where me and my buddies camped out in the basement of my buddy's house and just watched, and watched scary movies. all at the time I think it was all seven Halloween movies oh wow you watched the Halloween series yeah. sweet so that's that's a very fond memory of uh, high school and Halloween and and all that good stuff what about so what's cool. yours I already told you man it was alien you, well, you're by yourself in the theater I don't blame I, you one I, bit. I was I was all by myself and I was sitting there and I was just all of a sudden that thing came out of the body and that was it I was done I'm, from that moment on I'm like that's it I'm out of here, man. I stayed and watched the whole thing. I was like, please get me off this ship. <laughs> yeah. Ripley. Ripley. So you, didn't stay, you didn't stay for a second round? No, I did. I watched the whole thing, but it freaked me out, man. All right, yeah. it, but that's old school. I mean, you're a 10-year-old kid. Who knows? Yeah, he, he didn't even know what that is. So that's just going to chill out. It's okay, just the, let the, it the whole here, show, and then we'll pour, a bubble pour up some, a little and then bit. we'll add a little uh, bourbon or whiskey. Well, you can add that individually, because we, we're not going to drink that here. Yeah. I mean, you can, but I mean, we'll show people how it's done, yeah. right? Or even uh, a good like, spice rum would be good. Okay, so listen, this is a good time to take a break. We'll start on the, on the caramel apples in the next segment, but okay. good job.
We are back in the kitchen with Chef Chris Hill from The Bachelor Kitchen. He is wrapping up his yummy salted caramel and bourbon apple cider for us. We did the bourbon apple cider in the first segment. Now we're moving on to the caramel apples. And uh, what a mess. I mean, he's over here just beating the heck out of his caramel. Look, at you can't even move this. I'm it's not like, cleaning this pan. I'll tell this you that. Is, I mean, it's like, this, I, mean, I mean, look at that. What are we doing here? I mean, this it's like glue. Well, while you were away uh, taking care of business, I put some of my sugar in here. Mm -hmm. uh, about 10 minutes on medium heat, you literally just have to stir and stir and stir, and it's almost done melting, but right. it'll form these clumps, and then it'll turn to like what will be like a melted, almost like a syrup, which is a little bit thicker than that now, but I add some brown sugar as well. So now we're going to add some butter. and. Because that looks like like a mortar mix right well, you'll there. You'll see what will happen here. It'll um, to loosen up a little. It'll loosen up. You'll see this butter will actually start taking that right now. And we're gonna add a little bit of. After this melts, we're gonna add a little bit of that vanilla extract and some heavy cream. You know the apple cider. I mean, it smells amazing. Yeah, it does. Isn't it? I mean, it's it's almost like a potpourri right here. Now, did you add anything to this, or just let it go? I had, I had nothing else. No, just let it go, huh? Really, all, like, all holiday season long, mm -hmm. my family will keep one of these on the stove, mm -hmm. and it'll serve as like a potpourri for the whole house. It's incredible. And then when you get tired of smelling it, you can just put it in your cup and drink it. That's right. Exactly. Perfect. Okay. That's right. Okay. So uh, the caramel apple, and it's salted. It's salted. Yep. Um, but, and where does that sorry, come from? Sorry. Sorry. With the sugar, I added some salt too. Okay. Uh, for my, my recipe calls for like a, a cup of the sugar. A quarter cup of dark brown sugar and then a, a teaspoon of uh, kosher salt. Okay, very and nice. And so that makes the, a, the nice uh, salty sweet combination. And um, you can even, after we do the uh, caramel apples, line a little bit of kosher salt on the outside. Oh, cool. So, uh, what is new, hot, and fresh over there at the Bachelor Kitchen? Um, staying really busy, actually. Good. I, uh, you know, I do food writing also. I uh, mm -hmm. posted an article on uh, medium.com, which is like a, a blog post type place. and. Last week it went crazy viral and God, nice. And uh, I woke up and I look at my phone. And I have all these notifications, and then I have like 50 new emails in my inbox. And wow, just like that, huh? So I've been uh, all week. I've been trying to respond to all these emails, and it's been pretty cool to see, though. Good. Um, yeah, I basically wrote what, what, kind of what it's like to be a chef, and it, uh, I just took off, and people started sharing it and all that kind of stuff. Are you uh, still a bachelor? I am. Okay, all right. Well, that, am, that's the know. Bachelor Kitchen. You know. You gonna, are you gonna hold on to that title forever? No, I will not. Yeah, I know my parents want some grandkids and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so. you got brothers and sisters. That's right. So that's what they're and for. And we'll, we'll move into that and do some more kind of kid-friendly uh, Halloween type stuff. Is that I, what's going to happen one day? Yeah. All right. Well, Monday's just day. checking. Just checking with the bachelor. Okay. So, um, are you ready to to to, to cover those apples or what? Yeah. Well, we're going to cover it with the stuff that I already made. Um, okay. On the way in here. Go ahead and give it a shot. So uh, we'll we've give got it about a, a minute to go. You want it to be a little bit. Uh, Warm still, obviously, as it cools off, it's going to thicken. So, mm -hmm. here I just have a plate with uh, some wax paper, parchment paper, that will keep it from sticking, hardening to wherever the uh, surface is. Right. And there's one. Just like that. Oh, you got to let yeah. me do one, all right? Yeah, go for it. Okay. So, and uh, I, ideally, you probably want to let it be a little bit cooler. Right now, it's it's like uh, lukewarm. Okay. Let it go a little bit cooler. That way, it'll. it'll Stick more to the apple, you'll see that there's a bunch that kind of roll off the side. Okay, but so it's just a little too warm right now. Yep. Okay. But uh, super easy, you know, again, like five recipes or five uh, ingredients. Boom. And yeah, that's it right and there. It. Okay, so listen, uh, he is uh, Chris Hill from The Bachelor Kitchen. Uh, plug your website. Go for it. Uh, MyBachelorKitchen.com. Uh, I'm all over Facebook. It's um, mm -hmm. Twitter at, at Batch Kitchen. So. Uh, Batch Kitchen. Yes, Chris sir. Hill, everybody. Always a pleasure. Big Bama fam. They got, left out, of, they got left out of the Final Four last hey, night. Uh, after Saturday, LSU, we'll see. Okay, we'll see. Thanks, Chris. <laughs>